Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today I'm going to show you how to trade on Binance and how to use different types of orders on Binance and what is the difference between those kinds of orders. Before we begin, click thumbs up, subscribe our channel and hit the bell. So let's start. If you don't have account on Binance, you will find link in the description of this video if you want to start trading cryptocurrencies. Binance is the best place, so just click on the link in the description, create an account and start trading. And over here, here of course we have a chart of the given asset, of the given cryptocurrency. On the right hand side we can choose which cryptocurrency pair we want to uh, trade. So if we want to trade cryptocurrencies based on BNB, we would choose BNB, Bitcoin is here, some other altcoins are here like Ethereum. If we want to trade against dollar, here are the stable coins like uh, TUSD, USDT or BUSD, PAX, etc. In this example I'm gonna use BUSD, which is USD coin, it's a stable coin created by Binance that is 1-1 one, one with US dollar. So once we choose this, we can choose the cryptocurrency we want to trade, I'm gonna choose Ethereum. So I'm going to click on Ethereum and then on the left side we've got sell orders and down here on the green one there are buy orders. And let's start from limit order. Limit order, we have buy order and sell limit order. How does it work? First of all, let's start from buy order. If we want to buy Ethereum, we, we see that the last price for buy is let's say 261, but let's say that's too much for us, we believe that the price will go down. So let's say I want to buy Ethereum for 220, I would put $220 over here, below over here we put the amount of Ethereum we want to buy, then down here we will see how much we're going to pay, and as soon as we click buy Ethereum, our order will be added to order book this is order book however here we can see only the last 20 buy orders so if we want to buy it for 220 dollars it will not be visible here however it will be added to order book and if the price of ethereum gets down to 220 or 219 dollars we will be able to buy one ethereum because we added our order to the order book now, similar situation is over here, if we want to sell Ethereum or any other cryptocurrency, in the price we put the price for how much we want to sell, let's say I'm gonna write $1000, then we put the amount of how much Ethereum we want to sell, I'm gonna hit 100%, and then down here we can see how much we will get for the Ethereum. So if I click sell Ethereum, at this moment limit sell order was created, and the limit sell order was added to the sell book, to this book that is read over here. As we can see the price right now for the sell order is 261, so my order is somewhere up there at the top, uh, where it is set to sell Ethereum for $1000. And of course we can also check our open orders down here, where it shows our last orders for the given pair. As you can see the pair is Ethereum, compared to Binance USD, it's a limit order to sell for $1000, this amount of Ethereum, how many percent of our order was filled and how much in total are we going to get once the order is completed. So that's how limit orders work, let me cancel this one and let's move to the next order which is market. Market is a little bit different than a limit and well it's not very useful in my opinion, however some people uh, use it sometimes because sometimes there is a situation where market order is or can be quite useful. So uh, let's start with the buy order. Over here as we can see the price, we cannot change it, it just says market 
And then down here, we all we have to do is put the amount of Ethereum that we want to buy or any other cryptocurrency if we are on the other cryptocurrency pair. So let's say I want to buy 100 Ethereum. What will happen when I click buy? When I click buy, I will start buying Ethereum from the cheapest orders in the order book. So in that moment, I want to buy 100 Ethereum. That means I would buy 1.6 from this price. Then I would buy 0 0.4 for this price, 1.2 for this price and so on and so on, then 7 for this price and so on until I buy all 100 of Ethereum that I want. So it will basically just follow the order book and buy all the Ethereum until you get 100. And if we want to sell Ethereum, it will work in the same way. So we just put the amount of Ethereum we want to sell, let's say 100 again, and as soon as we click sell Ethereum, it will sell Ethereum to the highest buy orders from the order book. So it would sell 0.4 to this person, 2 Ethereum for this price, 7 Ethereum for this price, and so on and so on until we fill all of our 100 Ethereum after we sell 100 Ethereum to all of those people over here. So this is how market orders work. If you have any questions about limit or market orders, you can ask them in the description. I'll try to answer all of them. And now let's move to the most useful types of orders. One is called OCO, the other one is called stop limit. So let's start from stop limit. Stop limit also can be buy and sell order. So let's start from the buy Ethereum stop limit order. How does it work? As the stop price, if we want to buy Ethereum, we put a price at which our order will become activated. So that means if I have 250 here right now, that means that if the price of Ethereum over here or over here will drop to $250, then my limit order, like we learned over here, limit order will be created to buy Ethereum for $251. So that means the price drops to 250 and as soon as it happens, we create automatically limit order to buy Ethereum for $251, which means our order will most likely be either uh, at the top of the buy list or maybe it will be automatically filled with the lowest sell order from the sell book which means it will trigger and then will be filled most likely automatically within the same second so that's how buy ethereum stop limit works with sell ethereum stop limit it is quite similar so uh, let's say we bought ethereum for 260 dollars right now if we set stop at 300 and limit at 299, that means that if the price of Ethereum rises to $300, we will create a limit order automatically to sell Ethereum for $299. So our order will show up in the sell book for $299 while the actual price of Ethereum is $300, which will most likely mean that we will sell it almost immediately. I hope you get the point. So this is how stop limit works. Now let's move to OCO. OCO is a combined limit and stop limit order. So let's say we want to sell Ethereum. We bought it for $260. We want to sell it once the price hits $1,000. However, we want to make sure that we protect ourselves in case the price of Ethereum goes down. In order to do that, we set the price over here for the limit as $1,000. Then, as the stop limit, we would set, for example, $250. And the limit would be $249, for example. That means, if the price goes up and hits $1,000, then our 
our limit order will be executed and we will sell Ethereum for $1,000. On the other hand, if the price starts dropping down and let's say it drops to $250, that means we will create a limit order to sell Ethereum for $249 and this order will be executed. Let's see, I'm gonna click sell Ethereum. Uh, I'm gonna click here 100% and then hit sell Ethereum. And as soon as I do this, OCO order has been created. And if I scroll down, we can see it. So let's take a look. We have two orders that were created exactly at the same time and they are connected because if one of the orders is executed, the other one will become canceled. So let me explain you how this works over here. As we can see, this is the pair, this is the type order. So limit maker means that over here, so if the price hits $1,000, we will sell this amount of Ethereum for a total price of this one over here. If the price goes down to $250, then we will sell Ethereum for $249 and we will sell this amount of Ethereum for this amount of dollars. So that way we are protecting ourselves from further loss as well as we make sure that we take profit if Ethereum hits the target profit that we anticipated. I hope you get it. I hope you get how it works. And of course we can use it also to our advantage. Once the price is rising up, let's see, I'm gonna cancel it. So how to use it to our advantage when the price already rose up and let's say we bought it for $260 and right now let's say the price is around $500. We still believe that the profit target is $1000. Right now the price is $500 and we bought it for $260. So in order to make sure that we get the profits and even if our target price of $1,000 is not reached, if our Ethereum will start dropping down from $500, we can make a stop, let's say at $480 to sell it for $479. So that means if the current price is $500, if it keeps going up and reaches $1,000, it will sell for $1,000. If somehow the price stops at $500 and then starts a huge correction, it's going down. Once it hits $480, it will sell our Ethereum for $479. Which means once we bought it for $260 and we sold it for $479, we are still in huge profit and we avoid further lose, we make sure that we get as much profit as possible. So it is a very very useful once we follow the rising of the price, we follow the rising of the price and let's say we adjust, we update our stop loss accordingly as long as the price rises and once it drops we can buy it again and so on and so on. So this kind of order, the OCO, is extremely helpful and even more helpful if we are updating it as the price rises. So those were four different kinds of orders on Binance. If you have any questions, you can of course ask them in the comments. I'll try to answer all of them. And if you don't have account on Binance yet, as you know, Binance is one of the biggest, one of the most trustworthy uh, cryptocurrency exchanges if you're starting your adventure with cryptocurrency binance is the right place to do that so if you don't have account here you can find the link in the description of this video i would really appreciate if you use this link to register your account and that's it for today remember to hit thumbs up subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends thanks for watching